Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Stats Chat, where I'm here to help you lose fat, but not your mind. I am Tiffany, certified personal trainer, nutrition specialist, and your body snatcher. And today, I'm going to do an update on protein, okay? Uh, more specifically, snacks. So I've done a couple videos in the past, but I have a couple of shares that I will do uh, just because it's time to do an update you know and I have a new addition that I have started doing recently so I figured I would share it with you since I haven't done this in several several months okay so I'm gonna get into that but before I do make sure you subscribe to the channel and also make sure you get your snatch starter kit okay so it's basically a little kit that I put together it has some workouts it has some insights it has some recipes it has all kinds of good stuff that I pulled from my snatch session subscription and membership okay so uh, snap sessions is my program where I focus on sustainable fat loss and make it easy for busy busy women who just need to get through the path and not be in punishment so you know fitness can feel like a punishment so definitely check that out it's completely free okay no strings attached so go to the description and get that okay so uh, let's go ahead and get into it so I'm um, also dose she's right next to me so my cat she likes to make her little cameo sometimes okay so I'm going to recap a couple of the snacks that I still do and the ones that I still think are bomb.com. Um, I also have an update, okay, <laughs> on one that I have recommended in the past, okay, because I can't get it anymore, which makes me very sad. So I'm going to have to do a <laughs> reset and figure something else out for that. And then I'm going to introduce a new one that I've been doing, okay? And kind of explain. All right, so I'm going to start with the tried and trues first. So um, my favorite protein bar, okay? So I've had several protein bars. I've eaten all of them pretty much. Some of them agree with me. Some of them do not. Um, I've talked about Quest bars. For some reason, they do not agree with me, okay? My fiance loves them. I can't do them. They upset my stomach and they just don't work for me. Okay, I'm not, so Quest Bars, definitely on the nutrition side, they're great. They have a lot of protein. They have a lot of fiber. Okay, so they're really good on the actual nutrition side, but for some reason, they don't do well with my body. So my favorite, okay, which is a newer addition. So I wasn't eating these before, is Fit Crunch. So these are my Fit Crunch Bars. Um, I have mentioned them before. So these are by Robert Irvine. I think that's how you say his name. He is a real chef. So these bars taste like a candy bar. So I eat these as a substitute for candy. Okay. So some things I believe in fitness, you can just swap it just to make it enjoyable so that you are doing the lesser of evil or actually doing the better right so in the in the instance of a candy bar which is going to run you like 200 to 250 calories right you're going to get that but there won't be a lot of protein and it's going to be a lot of other junk that is not going to fulfill you right so you're going to be hungry an hour later if even that like usually when i eat a candy bar i'm hungry right away <laughs> you know so these, they're 190 calories, so you're still on par, okay? You're a little under 200 calories, but you are at 200 calories, but they have 16 grams of protein, right? So that in itself is amazing. You're going to uh, get protein that pretty much equates with, you know, eating something that is high in protein. So, and not even in the need, so you could eat this after a workout as well. I don't, I can't even talk. I can't, I don't specifically <laughs> use these, okay? F oh, is it upside down? I don't specifically use these for working out, but I use it for a snack, okay? And y'all know I don't edit anything, so when I make mistakes, that's just what it is, okay? So don't come for me, okay? I'm not editing this. So yes, I eat these still. So I have mentioned these, but I'm recapping that, okay? But I only eat these like once in a blue moon now, okay? And the reason I eat these once in a blue moon is because I eat my daily protein favorite snack, and that is Greek yogurt, okay? 
I can't talk about Greek yogurt enough and I just wish that more people understood how amazing it really is, okay? It really is a great, great uh, way to get your protein. You have to make sure it's Greek yogurt, okay? And that it's not just your typical yogurt because that is not going to have any protein. This one only has 80 calories. So my favorite thing about this is you're getting protein with less calories. So this is the Dannon's Light and Fit brand, which I eat a lot because it is 80 calories. It has 12 grams of protein. The other brand that I like is Oikos, okay? They're, they're I think it's called triple zero. They're triple zero protein. So it has 15 grams of protein and they're only a hundred calories. So either way, you're getting a lot of protein for a hundred calories or less, right? And then what I usually do is I will add granola to them. So granola is the total opposite. Doesn't have a lot of protein. It's very, you know, processed and it can be very high calorie. One ounce of it runs you a hundred 30 to 150 calories, but when you mix it with this, it is delicious and you are looking at a 250 calorie or less snack. And I eat it pretty much every day. <laughs> like literally I eat Greek yogurt every day on a personal level. They have all flavors. Um, I like vanilla because you know, it's pure like bland and it, brings out the flavor of the granola to me. It is sweet. Like this brand is actually much sweeter than the triple zero brand, I will say. Uh, and I, maybe that has something to do with the protein amount. Don't know, but this is a lot sweeter and it's less calories. And so it is really my favorite way to enjoy my granola. So love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. So that's that. Now I'm going to give the update on one of my faves that I mentioned before that I no longer have access to. So we happen to buy everything in bulk. So we do have this still, okay? <laughs> but it's gonna run out and then we're not gonna have it anymore. And that is our Amazon Elements protein powder. <sighs> Let's have a moment of silence. Okay, yes. I don't know, and maybe they're gonna pop up again. I don't know, but they have been out of stock on this protein powder forever. And I mentioned it in one of my videos a long time ago. I'm gonna put the other protein videos up. Just, I'll link them just so you can see what I'm talking about and see what I said about the other stuff. But honestly, I loved it and me and my fiance loved it because it's very low cholesterol um, It's a decent price, you know, it had and I, you know originally it was because of reviews But it has a really good flavor to it when you make like smoothies and stuff like that So uh, we make smoothies a few times a week, maybe two on a lower end and so um, My fiance makes really great smoothies with you know, fruit and all kinds of stuff. So really really good smoothies so we think we have found the replacement that we are going to get after ours runs out but i will keep you posted because we do have some surplus <laughs> because we buy things in bulk all the time so i don't know when it's going to run out but i do want to mention that you know the amazon elements is no longer in stock at least it wasn't when i looked now you know, maybe it will come back in the flash of an eye like tonight or tomorrow or something. But it's literally been months and months and months and months and months that it has not been on the website. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, maybe it's, you know, the I don't, I don't I can't say the word because, you know, they don't like it. But, you know, the situation happening with the with the world or whatever. So maybe, you know, production is halted or something. I don't know, but, uh, that one is out. So, you know, just putting that out there and just as a disclaimer, um, but now I'm going to introduce what I've been doing lately at uh, regularly as well. So not every day, like I do the yogurt, but at least several times a week. And it's usually right after my strength training and during my strength training, usually right after. So that is ISO peers. Okay. So let me just go ahead and say it off the back, okay? These are not delicious. 
I'm the, I'd be the worst sponsored, right? The thing is, is sometimes things aren't delicious, but they do the job. Now they are. Now these two flavors, I actually really like. There are a couple flavors I literally cannot drink. I just I couldn't do it. Okay, and I was like, no, absolutely not. But there are a couple flavors that I have found that I like, and that's what fitness is. Is sometimes it's just like looking until you find something that you can deal with, right? So. These isopures, there are 40 grams of protein in this bottle, okay? So I would like to say, first of all, I do not drink the whole thing, okay? I drink a third of this at a time for the most part, okay? I might drink half if I really had a really serious, no joke kind of like strength day, and I'd probably still break that up a little bit, but... There's only 80 calories and a half. So there's 160 calories in the whole thing. I would like to also say, I do not think that you, in most cases, need 40 grams of protein for any reason at one time. Like that's a lot of protein. And to be honest, most, you know, human beings, definitely Americans get enough protein as it is. You get it through your regular food. You, if you're a meat eater, you're definitely getting enough of it. So you don't have to push the protein. As I always say with protein, is really the importance of protein is more when you're getting the protein. So you want to have protein as soon as you finish your workouts. That is the most important time for protein is after you do strength training, okay? Um, it's a very, I don't know why, it's like the number one rule of protein is that is the most important time for it. Otherwise, you just eat it whenever you want, but it's essential that you get it right after your workout. So what I do, because a lot of times I like to do cardio uh, right after my workout sometimes. So, you know, I need the protein right away. And this is a very quick and easy way to get your protein, right, without having to have a full meal. Now, I will also say... You know, I probably should have said this in the beginning. For me, I'm always going to be a proponent of real food over, you know, supplements and stuff. But supplements do have their place in my life. Um, I am not your nutritionist or anything like that. So you have to decide if they are, you know, worth it for you. You should talk to your doctors and all that good stuff and ask if it's a good thing for you. But I find that supplements do have their place, but I use them as a supplement. They're not meant to replace real food, right? So that's why I said I only drink about a third of it. So you want to have like 15 grams of protein after your workout. So half of this is going to be 20, right? So we don't really need the whole thing. Um, so um, I found that I like these and you can taste and protein does a, it has a filling effect on you. So after you drink this, you can tell that you've done something, that you've had something with some kind of substance as well. So you don't feel completely, you don't feel like you had a real meal, but you don't feel completely like hungry either. So I do like that about these. Um, the flavors that I happen to like, so this one is the passion fruit. So this one I really like and it has no caffeine in it. So uh, you have to be really aware of that with, uh, protein drinks. Uh, one that I do like that does have caffeine. This is the green tea and lemon. Um, but it has caffeine in it. So I don't really mess with it often because I have my one, uh, cup of coffee in the morning and then that's it. Um, I think that, you know, I try to limit as much caffeine as I can because I don't, it kind of does, it's like dopamine for your brain and all this stuff, but I'm not going to go into all that. So, you know, this is a good flavor if you're good with caffeine. Um, I also like the grape one, okay? Um, and then there are flavors that I absolutely don't like, but my fiance likes them. So sometimes, you know, it's just personal choice. And like I said, you have to try things to see what you like. Um, I don't love the mango peach. Um, I think I had the melon one and I didn't really care for that. <laughs> I mean, this is not a like, what flavors does Tiffany like show, but I'm just sharing my experiences with you. So, um, the passion fruit one and the, um, grape ones are probably my favorite. Okay. So I'll just put that out there. So that is it. So those are my go-to protein snacks of the moment. Okay. So three would be, well, I would say the two are real food. So I consider the protein bar kind of real food because it's not just like a supplement, right? It's not like a meal, but it is food and the yogurt. So they're snack foods. 
okay? Then the Amazon protein powder is definitely a supplement because you have to add it to food and that is being discontinued. It looks like I will keep you posted. So if you're going to get a protein powder, just look at the amount of protein in it and look at the calories, of course, and then try to go for no cholesterol if you can get that. And then this one is also supplement, which is the Isopure. And I'll put a link to this one because I have a link and I also have links to this one. Are you just so you can look on Amazon and just see, read the details and kind of look to see if it's something that's for you. Right. Um, so that's just the easy way to access it. Okay. And then I'll also put the Amazon, um, elements. You'll just have to, <laughs> you'll just have to read that, but it also will give you suggestions. Okay. For other protein, uh, powders that probably are very similar and you'll probably see the one that we're thinking about getting we just haven't hundred percent decided but when we make that choice I will definitely let you know okay so that is it for the day make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you get your free snatch starter kit okay until next time eat well drink well take care of yourself mind body and spirit and I will see you soon